Joker fam, it's your boy Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another Madden video for you guys. So, this is your first time checking out one of my videos. First time you even come to the channel, man. Make sure you guys drop a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 1K. Make sure you guys hit that sub button, man. It's free. It only takes one second. That being said, let's go ahead and jump straight to this. Now, had somebody comment down below that they wanted to see my adjustments and what I do on defense. Now, Here's the thing, right? I don't run meta for my defense. So if anybody is expecting like a mid blitz or whatever the case is, pretty much four one step ahead and sitting man coverage all day, that's not what I run, okay? I nine times out of 10, um, I'm in big nickel over G, been running big nickel since it became popular, which I think was Madden 17, I wanna say. Madden 17, something like that. So I just kind of found ways to stay with that and then just obviously make my adjustments from there now disclaimer on this not the best madden player <laughs> all right i'm not no madden pro or not like that just an average madden player at best average all right um i obviously take this um these setups and stuff obviously in the weekend league i can average 16 to 18 wins in weekend league sometimes i've gotten 20 wins but just didn't have the strength to schedule so you know it is what it is so i get 18 win rewards obviously but as you guys can see from my last weekend league i ended up getting 18 wins i believe so it, it honestly it just depends on how how things go sometimes I, I throw some dumb stuff sometimes i get some ea shit happening in my games whatever but either way on a good day i can get 18 wins and if i'm if things go well, I can get 20, but again, never gotten top 100 because, like I said, don't have the strength of schedule. But in this game, in this gameplay, in this video, I'm going to go ahead, jump into practice mode, show you guys my adjustments, and then I'm going to get into an actual game and do my adjustments there. Keep in mind, the things that you guys will see in practice mode will be a little bit different than what you see in, obviously, real game because, obviously, in real game, I'm going to be using my main team. There's going to be abilities and... The positions are going to obviously be changed a little bit, but you know, either way, doesn't matter. Jump into practice mode, show you guys my adjustments, take it into real game. See your boys in there. All right, Joker fam. So as you guys can see, we're in the practice mode now. So what I'm, what I normally do is, is like I said, it's gonna be a little bit different than how I will do it in real game. But I will make some substitutions where I need to. I will put my outside linebackers at the ends. So for you know, theme team purposes. Mac will go here, Kendricks will be at this position, and there's a reason for that, obviously, but we'll also be subbing in um, some corners in and this, that, and the other, which, like I said, I'll go over when I'm actually in real game. But the biggest thing to do also for me is go into my coaching adjustments and change my curl flats to 25. Now, if you guys don't know, change your zone drop curl flats to 25 helps a lot with the deep crossers and, for the most part, corner routes. All right, so we'll get into that in a second, but change it to 25. That's pretty much the only adjustment that I make as far as that. And then we'll go ahead, jump into big nickel, and then go cover three Scott. Now, um, for their formation, I guess we'll just run any basic thing. Right now, like I said, I'm just going to be going over the adjustments, and that's it. And we'll kind of go from there. So, <clears throat> first thing I do, press Y for my cover adjustments. I will always base align and then show blitz. So as you guys can see, um, left, um, right on the left stick, so I base the line, and then press Y again, and then left on the left stick, show blitz. So this is the kind of look that you will get on, this is the look that I'll always have on my, on my defense. That's the first thing I do, all right? Second thing I do, now you can obviously do a lot of these things in quick adjustments if that's what you so wanna do, but, as you guys can see, all right, so as you guys can see, this is what obviously it still looks like. It's still base cover three. So what I will do is, it de it depends on what you're running into, but nine times out of 10, people who are running some kind of crossers or some kind of post corners, they will typically have some kind of um, check down, which normally will be in the flats. So I'll normally go ahead and put these guys in the flats, just depending, and um, one on both sides you know what i'm saying so this is what you'll see 
all right so you can see both my ends are both on hard flats just in case if the running back goes to the flat or the other um or they'll have whatever huge or not huge check but they'll have a on the flat route whatever the case is you know what i'm saying and then um you know i'm sending two you know what i'm saying you can do it like that or you can have the rusher be you can send three and put um your other yellow flat into a uh, hard flat you know what i'm saying you have uh, something similar to this but it depends on how good your user is in the middle of the field now nine times out of ten this is what i prefer to do you know what i'm saying i prefer it like this because nine times out of ten i could use it in the middle of the field just fine by myself and still have a three-man rush which in Madden 21 that's really all you need now as far as my deep zones I will go ahead and press Y. Now, I normally do this through quick adjustments. So, I'll press Y. As you guys can see, quick adjustments pops up at the bottom. Press Y again. And then you have your secondary come up. So, for me, I play my deep blues. I put them um, on both sides. I put them in deep halves. So, for Jackson, which is X, and for Gilmore, which is B, I'll go ahead put Jackson deep half. And then I'll put um, quick adjustments Gilmore into another deep half which is right on the right stick and then you'll have this or uh, for the deep halves those deep halves stop cover three beaters all right so you shouldn't have to worry about cover three beaters the only thing you essentially in this play right now that you need to worry about is the middle of the field and again like i said depending on how good your users are you really don't need to worry too much about that okay now as far as i'm concerned a lot of people have told me um you know, I will probably blitz my user. Um, I used to put him in a spy, but I've had people in the comment section tell me that blitzing helps with usering a lot better. You have more control. So that's, you know, that's what I would do. So this is the setup that you would see from, at least from my aspect, you know. Now, again, you might have people do something a little bit different. You might have the running back on a wheel route or whatever the case is. So what I would do is I'll go ahead, man cover, maybe Y, and then have something looking like this instead. So as you can see, I still have the hard flat up, but obviously now I'm only sitting two rushers and I have um, the running back manned up. So you can do something like that, or you can go ahead, put um, put this guy that's in the man, uh, man zone. You can um, put him in a hook zone if you need more help over the middle and you can still have, um, you know, hard flats up, whatever the case is. A lot of different things you can do with this and there's a lot of things you can shut down. So, like I said, the biggest thing, biggest thing about this, I will personally say, is the deep halves. The deep halves are definitely something that needs to be up because nine times out of ten, people know how to do cover three beaters. And like I said, this stops cover three beaters when you put them in deep halves. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'll do it really quick, and um, just to kind of reset it, um, run the play real quick, and then whatever happens, all right, set. So. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead, run through it really quick, just to show you guys. And by the way, that was sending, I think I sent three by mistake. But either way, you should get, you'll still get pressure with two. You know what I'm saying? I just want that to be completely understood. So but like I said, I'm going to do this real quick. Baseline, show blitz. I'll go ahead, drop him there, drop him there. And then I'll probably man up wide just in case if he runs a, um, you know, runs a uh, wheel route with his running back. And then I'll blitz myself. And then you should have this. All right. So again, two hard flats, deep halves are up, and your curl flats are at 25, so you really shouldn't have to worry about deep crossers or um, corner routes, all right? So I would say the biggest thing with running this defense, like I said, if you're going to just send two, again, it will take some time for the pass rush to get there. But at the same time, you have everything boxed up. Keep in mind, also, the biggest key to this is that for these guys that like to roll out the pocket with Josh Allen or Michael Vick or this and that, if you so want to, you could send the closest player to him. You know what I'm saying? So I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about, right? So if I decide to do this, and then we'll go ahead and, you know, do our regular stuff or whatever the case is, and we should have this as our play art. All right, so if you see something like this, now... Just for just for the sake of argument, let's say um, just to buy myself more time to roll out. Let's say I double team this guy, and then I call hike, and then obviously my user gets sent. And let's say nobody's open, right? If that doesn't happen, as you guys can see, my hard flat number fifty 
he starts coming up field. So you can send the closest man to him and not really have too much to worry about. So I'm going to try it again. I don't know why the double why he got through the double team so easily. But um, hopefully this time I buy myself a little time. And then I'll probably just put, um, you know what, better yet, we'll put him on this just to keep him out the way. Just so I can better show you guys of what I'm talking about. But um, let me see. All right, so this is my play art. As you guys can see, I have him manned up over there just so I can buy myself a little bit more time in the pocket. But anyways, I'll call Hike. He's double teaming. Let's say I roll out and I got all this time. If you take your user and cover A, you can go ahead and send that hard flat. And there you go. Now you're bringing pressure to the quarterback. So, you know, nine times out of ten, like I said, that's what people like to do. They like to roll out, buy themselves time in the pocket. But again, like I said, if you're usering this guy and he's rolling right, you can go ahead and go with him and pick up. Take that hard flat away from him and then go ahead and send somebody else. And then there you go. You have you still have everything boxed up. And, you know, you still be able to play this defense the way it's supposed to be played. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'll be better off showing you guys in a real game. Probably make it a little bit easier to understand. So I'm going to go ahead, kind of make it a full defensive game. And I'm just going to edit out the offense. And we'll kind of go from there. And I'll show you guys my changes and adjustments. And go through everything in real time. All right? So I'm going to see y'all boys in there. All right, Joker fam. So we find ourselves a game. I see Rich Gannon, Denzel Ward, and Tyron Matthews. All right? So again, like I said, I'm going to give you guys the full setup of what I do on defense and everything like that from point A to point B. All right, Joker fam. So we're starting out on defense first. So as I said, like I said, you want to go to your coaching adjustments, change your zone drop, curl flats to 25. Okay? Now again, you might have to mix and match it, play with it a little bit, but like I said, it's best to start off with 25. So again, I'm going to make my substitutions. Khalil Mack is where he's supposed to be at. But I'm going to go ahead and change out Steve Atwater with Eric Allen. I'm going to change D'Angelo Hall there. Put Atwater here. And if you guys didn't... Got to call timeout. And we're going to go ahead and put Sherman here. All right. So, again, I probably should have did this before the video started. But I'll go ahead and do it at the end. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, show you guys what I have as far as abilities on them when this game is over. But this is what the setup is. We have... Ted Hendricks on one side, Khalil Mack on the other, and we're going to come out and cover three Scott. Now, like I said, I'm going to baseline show blitz, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, and I didn't get the, whatchamacallit, on the opposite side. But as you can see, everything's pretty much boxed up, and I'm only sending two. You know what I'm saying? So, again, we're going to come out in it again. So, again, I'm going to baseline show blitz, put these guys on hard flats. And put the deep halves up. I didn't get a chance to blitz myself. But again, it's just covering the user field. Taking away everything. And he has to force to throw something deep. Which again, like I said, I have deep halves up. So anything he throws deep, essentially is going to be into double coverage. You know what I'm saying? Alright, Joker fam. So we're back up here on defense again. 7-0. But like I said, I'm going to edit out my offense. But again, like I said, we're coming out in big nickel again. As you guys can see, he's coming out in empty base flex. Now, I understand that he's not running strong close or a lot of the meta offense. But again, like I said, this primarily can shut down a lot of different things. So, again, we're going to make the adjustments again. Didn't get a chance to get a lot of it off. But again, we were able to send four on that play because he doesn't have anybody to really block. You know what I'm saying? So, again, he's coming out of empty base again. So, I'm going to just tell you guys exactly what I'm going to do. Everything is the same, but I'm not putting up hard flats. But I am manning up one of my yellow zones to one of the um, one of the slot players, right? So right now, if I can get it off and show the play art, can show really show you guys the play art. But again, it's just pretty much using the field. Look at this; he's throwing into like damn near triple coverage. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like this, it's very easy and not that difficult to run, in my honest opinion. All right, Joker fam, so we're back here on defense, too. Now, again, 14-0, he's coming out in the same exact place. So, again, I'm manning up Atwater, who's my hook zone. I'm manning him up with the slot on that side. And everything else, I'm just putting up um, the deep halves, and that's really it. You know what I'm saying? For something like this. But I'm still baseline. He's showing blitz and, you know, doing the normal stuff. Um, this play, I didn't really get a chance to get what I wanted off. He kind of flipped it. All right. So again, we're going to go ahead, man up Y. Hopefully, I can get the play art off. 
So this is more, I couldn't get the playoff off. It's kind of annoying because he keeps quick hiking. So here's another thing too. So if he continues to like not really hit the, um, the seams, we're just going to go ahead and just play it straight up like this. Just keep the, um, the, um, deep halves up and that's really it. You don't really have to worry about anything else. I got faked out by Rich Gannon. Oh my lord. Okay, that was bad users. Alright, so he's coming out in the same thing. Again, like I said, he's not really targeting the, uh, deep halves. So we're just gonna play it just simply like this. And then we're still rushing for it so we can easily get to him. Now the only reason that I would man him up is if he starts hitting the deep halves with number 11. Then I will man that up. But essentially, this is all you see. You know what I'm saying? Deep halves up. Everything else is base. And we can still play everything. You know what I'm saying? Take whatever we need to take away. So again, he's coming out in the same thing. Now, I will have to guess it's third and 20. He's going to try to hit the seams. So we're going to go ahead and man him up. Steve Atwood has him manned up. Everything else is the same. We're rushing four. Deep halves are up. And we're straight. All I'm doing is lurking in the middle of the field for anything short. He's going to try to run. And I suck. All right. And he fumbled. All right. Thank you. All right, there we go. Oh, big man with the jukes. <laughs> and there you go. That's going to be GG's, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and try to hop into another one. Hopefully somebody's running more meta-based stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, Joker Fam. So we went ahead and found ourselves another game. Uh, I think that's our top three. Yeah, that's our top three. And we're going against Troy Vincent, Deion Sanders. So everybody's on defense, all right? Top three on defense. All right, Joker Fam. So we're starting out on defense first. I am. I do apologize for not being able to get my play art, play arts up quick enough. Um, it is a little bit annoying because I do. I have to get it off. I have to get my adjustments off quick. So you know, if I don't get the play art up quick enough, I am sorry for that. But again, as you guys saw, I put my deep halves up to where they, where I want them at, and then everything else is just substitute substituting players where I want them at. At water, at linebacker, Taylor Mays at linebacker, Sherman at safety. All right, so I come out, cover three sky, do everything I need to do. Deep halves up. Couldn't get the play art off, but either way, we'll hopefully get the play art off one day, one time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, do what we need to do, and hopefully get the play art. Okay, so there we go. I still have my hook curl up to help me with the middle of the field. Deep halves up, both our flats up. And hopefully everything plays the way it's supposed to. I can send Mac on this. And if my users were good, that would have been a pick. But you guys kind of see what I'm talking about. Even though I am lacking in pressure in a sense, because I'm only sending two, as soon as he rolls out that pocket, I can send whoever I need and just cover that shallow route. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if my users were good, that would have been a pick. So again, more of the same. Put deep halves up. Play the pass. And then there we go. So now we're chilling. I can go ahead, probably shift them out. Help out a little bit more. And I can come back. Once again, if my uses were good, that would have been a pick. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So here we are on fourth down. I, I'm really hesitant on stuff. I guess because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. But again, everything is essentially the same. As you guys can see, hard flats are taken away. You probably will go to something short. I don't know how I didn't, how my acrobat didn't work on that, but whatever. All right. <laughs> so honestly, it, I'm, I'm going to put this on myself because I had two opportunities for picks and I just didn't get them. I'm hesitating a lot. But hopefully we take everything away. All right, there we go. EA Sports. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it, it really does suck. I, I'm going to go ahead and go through this first. So, honestly, with I formation, it's very easy to stop. Honestly, all you do is just pinch your D lineman, slant them out, and you just use your user and just hit the gap. And it's, it's, it's very easy to stop. You know what I'm saying? Again, pinch my D lineman, slant. I really don't need to do anything else. You could press, I guess, but... You really don't need to do anything else. If he runs, then your zones are still going to be the same. He's just running base crossers, so, you know what I'm saying? It, like, I-Form is very, very whack this year, so there's not really much you really need to worry about when it comes to that. All right, Joker Fam, so we're back here on defense, man. 7-0. Um, if you guys saw from that last I-Formation play, that's the exact reason why you want to put your zone drops to 25. If you guys go back and look, 
his deep crossers were completely taken away. He really didn't have anything to go to. So, you know, that's exactly what you want to do as far as boxing up. And, um... Oh, okay, I messed up my adjustments. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Alright, so good run. Alright, but either way, that's exactly the whole reason of why you want your, like I said, your zone drops to 25 on your curl flex. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and set this up the right way. Alright, so good tap. Now here's one thing I will say about um, this formation, um, running this type of stuff. It's not very good as far as run game goes. You do have to use her a lot when it comes to this. And, um, you know, for people that do run the ball a lot, I do run a little bit of a different defense than this. Because this is not, like, I don't care what you see, this is not very good run defense. I'll tell you that right now. So if you do have an issue with stopping the run, I do have another defense that I don't have an issue showing. You know what I'm saying? But as far as everything else goes, all right, there we go. So everything's in deep halves. Matt just couldn't get out there quick enough. And there we go. So everything is right there set up the way I want it. And then we just take stuff away. Just take it away, take it away. And of course, he had to take that little check down, which obviously there's nothing that can cover that. So it just is what it is. But, you know, if you got to give up a yard, which that's all he got, then, you know, that's what you got to give up, you know. But everything else for the most part is taken away. That's taken away. I was supposed to cover that, but... You know, it is what it is. When it comes down to it, running this defense, you just have to have good users, and that's really it. Everything else does pretty much get boxed up. And again, he gets a pretty... Oh, my Lord. He gets a pretty big run on that one. Okay. All right, Joker Fam. So we're back here on defense, man. I gave up a touchdown. I got a quick height. I ain't going to lie. But it is what it is. It's, um, you know, second half, and I got to stop this run. Okay. So I'm going to run a little bit of run defense, all right? Show you guys a little bit of something on the run defense that I prefer, like, that I prefer to run. At a big nickel over G, I run cover one hole. All right. Now, if he comes out, all right, he, I'm not going to run it this way because he's in gun right now. But if he does run it again, I'll show you guys what I, what I try to run out of to stop the run. All right. Stop me to run a little bit. And I got quick hikes once again. And I'm stuck on the stupid. All right. There we go. Jesus. All right. So we're going to try to hopefully get these adjustments off a little bit quicker. All right. Once again, didn't get all of it off, but for the... I don't know how that wasn't a pick. Good Lord. As you guys can see, man, either way, a lot of the things that he is throwing are in coverage. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's free. Um, I didn't have a hard flat up on that side. Mac was rushing on that one. So here's another thing that you can do to kind of help out a little bit. If you do all your adjustments and you play over top, as you guys can see, my hard flats turn into cloud flats, and that kind of helps out a little bit more. Ted Hendricks was there, but he just, I, I don't, I don't know what kind of animation that was. Um, so hopefully we can just lock this up completely. I don't know how he's got that one off either. Holy shit. All right, Joker fam, so we're back on defense, 21 to 10. Some of the things that I am giving up are due to me having bad users. Completely understand that, but there are some plays... Ted Hendricks could have made some of the plays that he, some of the plays that he's he is running he is throwing it into coverage so uh, to me this defense is still good for me personally it's just you know it's just pretty much getting the right animation that's really all it comes down to me um but either way um again he's in um it's kind of weird formation um with no back um like an empty set my bad so <clears throat> already know what he's trying to target didn't think he was going to throw that but okay all right so we're going to come out same thing again we're just going to have to use our our users a little bit more shallow actually we don't need to since there's nothing short take away the short stuff and that should be a probably should have been a pick but is what it is so again he's back in this empty set um we just have to again play the seams he's going to the little out routes that's fine all right so again he's coming out in eye formation um you guys already know like i said just pinch your line slant out he's gonna go to some kind of all right there you go everything's kind of boxed up already so he really ain't got nothing to throw to so that one was easy and again he's gonna come back out in it probably expecting the same results but you know we're gonna keep hitting him with the same thing kind of take that away we come back and that's in the coverage we ain't gonna worry about that. 
Alright. Alright, so he's in the gun to offset. We're gonna go ahead and make our do our setup. There we go. Blitz ourselves. Oh, one more deep half. Alright, there we go. So that's what it is. Hard flats are up, curl flats are at 25. We got the deep halves up. This is everything's gonna be pretty much clipped. He's not gonna have anything to go to on this. Nothing's deep enough, everything's covered, and that's picked. That's gonna be GG's. All right, Joker Fram, so we're back on defense. I thought that last interception was going to be GG's, but apparently not. So it is what it is. But we're going to do the same thing. He's coming out in a gun spread flex, and we're going to come out cover three sky. You know, as always, baseline show blitz. We'll put that to a hard flat. Put that there. And I did not get my adjustments off too slow. But again, he's going to try to any anything he throws, it, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna go out of bounds because all right, Joker Fram. So I just went ahead after I got the pick. I just went ahead and kicked the field goal just to show off this off this defense a little bit more. Um, again, I wasn't on my users on that play, but again, for the most part, the basis of my defense was set up. I had my hard flats up, I had my deep halves up. So you know, it is what it is. Again, this defense works against a lot of offenses, man. Um, gun wire offset, Trey weak, whatever. Um, again, basis of it, same thing. Um, put the deep halves up, blitz myself, there you go. Hard flats up and blitz myself, deep halves are up. Curl flats still at 25. Okay, so that was an interesting dot, okay. So all we want to do for that is, honestly, we don't need to even baseline on that. Um, we can just keep everything exactly where it's at. And it makes it easier for us, one step, less that we have to do. And everything else is going to be pretty much the same. Alright, little baby, yeah. Alright. So, here's what we're going to do, right? Since this kid loves to do this, he's going to try to run pretty much my offense against me. We're just going to come out in base man coverage. All right? Base man coverage. We're just going to press up and play over top. That That's really about it. We don't really need to do much of anything else. Press up and play over top. And force him to make a decision on what he wants to do. And he has to throw it away. You know? So, again, it just depends. We have to adapt to what he's doing. Again, the zone locks up well. It really does. It, as, as you guys can see, dude only managed to get 10 points, and that's it. But if he's going to keep taking baby out routes and, you know, try to work his way back into a game, again, press up, man, base man coverage, play over top, and that's it. That's all I really need to do. You know what I'm saying? Everything else can stay the same. It doesn't really matter. And as you guys can see, he doesn't really have anything open. Nothing. Everything, Everything's planned. That was in the triple coverage. And that's EA shit. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing you can do about that. Triple coverage throw. If he wants to make that read, so be it. So, again, EA's got to give somebody something. But either way, um, again, he's coming out in the same formation. So, we already know what he wants to do. We can come out in our cover one hole again. But if I want to get kind of fancy with it, we can pretty much, um, you know, do something like this. Play over top. And um, every, everything is, for the most part, covered. You know what I'm saying? That's that's incomplete, so we ain't got to worry about that. So, again, like I said, if that's all he wants to keep doing, then we'll go ahead and do something similar to this. Play over top, and then we could do this. Cloud flats are up. It's still over top. Man coverage. We're rushing three, and then that's it. That's all we need to do. Somehow, Ted Hendricks couldn't get to that, even though he's in a cloud flat. That should play that. But okay. Again, same thing. Play over top. We can probably put him in a spy. Play over top. All right, there we go. Cloud flats are up. Play it over top. And that's going to be picked. Or uh, probably should have been picked, but whatever. So again, more or less the same thing again. Don't really need to worry about too much. Probably going to go to... That should have been my zone. Okay. My bad. That was my zone. I was trying to cover most. All right. So, I just want to go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing. Um, right now, as you guys see, I'm punting it. And first down. I just want to show off the um, show off the defense more. Kind of stymie him. And show you guys a little bit more of it. You know what I'm saying? So, again. As I have to guess, he's going to try to go ahead. Hit the out routes again. That's fine. This time, we're going to go ahead and keep our um, hook zone there. And we just we'll keep it there for the time being. We'll play over top. And as you guys can see, everything, it, it's boxed. He, he's completely boxed up. He's got nowhere to go. All right. So, again, like I said, it just comes to with, like, just adjusting to what you see. Again, 
I like my zone cover defense, as you guys can see. But homeboy just wants to keep throwing the little baby outs and this and that. And obviously, my D linemen aren't going to get out there quick enough. But I can shut him down with just running just a basic man coverage. I don't need one step ahead to do it. You know what I'm saying? It just works perfectly fine. Just press, play over top. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Press, play over top, and that's it. Keep um, keep my hook zoned up. I can use it with my safety, and then just slowly take stuff away, which I don't know why that's not a pick if he's there. Again, it's, this game is just, like I said, it's so animation-based. If you don't get the right animation, you're absolutely screwed. So, you know, it is what it is. But you guys can kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? The only reason that he's getting what he's getting is simply because, like I said, animations. I don't know why Charles Woods is not pressing, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead, Blitz. That's going to be picked. Yeah. <clears throat> so, homeboy is completely boxed up. We're just going to go ahead, fall, get the ball back to him. All right, y'all. So, like I said, we're back on the defense, man. Get the ball back to him. Um, again, coming out, cover one hole. I think this guy kind of gets that we're just labbing right now. So, um, it, it is what it is. I don't really care. I really don't mind. Kind of like that he's sticking in here so I can go ahead and keep giving you guys more gameplay and so on and so forth. But, again, we're just going to come out, base man coverage. Um, same thing, man. Nothing's changed. Press. Play over top. And that's it. Play the pass if you want. And um, that's it, man. Kind of sit here. Um, almost got beat over top, but again, that's why I'm there. I'm there to play over top just in case. So, you know, it, it is what it is. We're probably going to six this, maybe. All right, I'm just going to end up putting it back to him. All right, y'all. So, like I said, once again, we're back on defense, man. Um, like I said, bro, same thing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's changed. Press. Pay pass. Play over top. Blitz yourself so you can use her better. And that's it. Every, anything over top I'm looking for, I'm looking for, I'm looking for. And honestly, he's got nothing. That's going to be picked because I, I would think that should have been picked because Sherman was right on him. So, you know, it is what it is. But, again, it, it's pretty clamped for the most part. So, either way, man, it's going to be the last play of the game. Um, He's in I form, so we're just going to go ahead and blitz up the middle. All right, so he didn't do it. Take that crosser away. He's getting pressured. Okay. All right, so GG's, man. Um, I guess I got my XP, and yeah. All right, Joker fam. So as you guys see, game went very well. All right, I did have to switch up from my typical setup that I did show you, but I hope that I was able to explain the man coverage enough for you guys to understand. You guys don't need to sit here with four one-step-aheads on your team and, you know, use like an idiot around the field. You guys can lock up people just as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will say, the flaw with running the zone that I did show you, it, it is acceptable to the run. You know what I'm saying? It is hard to stop the run in it. But, again, to cover one hole out of the uh, big nickel, it does stop the run pretty well. And you can still, you know, do what you have to do in coverage. Now, once again, that is acceptable to crossers and, of course, um, corner routes. You know what I'm saying? If you do decide to go to cover one hole, you know, route. You know what I'm saying? So you do have to just adjust to whatever you see your opponent doing. I was running zone. Obviously, it was clamping him up. He was only getting 10 points. So he had to run 5-yard out routes. Now, personally, I would just sit there and let him run 5-yard out routes until he's blue in the face because, honestly, he wasn't going to stop my offense. So it is what it is. But I did want to shut him down completely. So and it gave me a chance to show you guys a little bit of man coverage without using one step ahead. Now... <clears throat> As far as my defense goes, I am going to go ahead and show you guys the abilities and stuff on what I'm rocking on my main team. Now, I will get into explaining certain things and why I have it this way. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. But um, as you guys can see, we did go ahead and pick up Richard Sherman and we maxed him out. He has mid-zone knockout and acrobat. I really don't think I need to explain mid-zone knockout. But for those of you that don't know about it, mid-zone knockout gives you obviously improved reaction and catch to knockouts in the mid-zone. This doesn't just apply to the mid zone. It applies to everywhere on the field. So even if you're running deep halves or a deep third, whatever the case is, they still react to the they still react to the ball. They still flash and they still move quickly to the ball. You know what I'm saying? So even if you have them in curl flats, which tip, typically that's why I have a lot of my mid zone players at. If you have them in curl flats, they react quicker. So that means it gives you a chance to click on 
they put themselves in position. So you don't have to, well, you don't really have to, but they put themselves in a better position for you to click on and go for the pick. You hear what I'm saying? So we got that on him. Obviously, Acrobat on Rod Woodson. Again, Eric Allen, who has 3 AP, he does play my curl flats, so he does have mid-zone knockout. Um, Charles Woodson, again, um, just one acrobat. But D'Angelo Hall, he's a zone corner, which that's exactly what I need at those positions, such as the curl flats and stuff like that, because they get acrobat and mid-zone knockout for only 2 AP. Whereas, as of course, Eric Allen, he's a man-to-man -man cover archetype, so he has to get mid-zone knockout for obviously 2 AP. But again, D'Angelo Hall, sometimes he does play my curl flats. There you go, mid-zone knockout. But Steve Atwater, he gets a uh, mid-zone knockout for 1 AP, but of course he gets Acrobat since he's a safety for 2 AP. So I'm not going to put 2 AP on him. So there you go. He has mid-zone knockout. Just in case if I do drop him out to a hard flat, he reacts. He plays the mid-zone, which is the hook, the hook curl. Uh, wait, is it hook curl? No, hook zone. There you go, the yellow zone. He plays that, he reacts. So there you go. And um, everybody else, they just have X factors. And of course, for myself, being the user for Taylor Mays, I have Acrobat. So <clears throat> ultimately, that's what I will have to say. I do will have to edit a few things here and there just because the video will be too long. But I hope I was able to explain my defense well enough. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully I was able to get into the man cover stuff well enough. Ultimately... When it comes down to running my zone defense, it's literally just having my my ends, which are typically linebackers, Mac, Ted Hendricks, play the hard flats, put my curl flats to 25, and put my deep blues that I play on the outside, put them in deep halves. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's really all I do and just use it around the field. Use it in the middle of the field and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And if the other yellow, you can put them on a man cover. Or he can stay in the yellow and help you play the mid. It's whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to man coverage, very simple. Put my, press my corners, play over top. Same kind of thing. Put my ends on hard flats and then play over top. And then put them, that will put them to cloud flats. And I could just use it as safety. And the yellow zone, I could put him into a, you know, a curl flat, which is a purple. I could spy him or leave him where he's at, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you can mix and match. It just depends on whatever you see your opponent doing, you know what I'm saying, and just adjusting to it. Again, EA does get kind of foolish with some of the animations, you know. People will still throw in double coverage, triple coverage, whatever. You won't get picks. Sometimes people will get some glitchy-ass animation. They will catch it, whatever. It happens, but... At least you're putting yourself in position. You're putting your players in position to make a play on the ball. That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully I explained that well enough. And if you guys have any questions on anything else, let me know in the comment section below just in case I need to do another video. If you guys want to see my offense, I got no problem doing that too. So let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you guys drop some laughs on that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Joker family support always means a lot. Till next one, guys. Peace.